All right, everybody. My name is Pat Dennis, and what I wanted to do is just do a little video here for you showing you how Eureka, Salesforce Field Service, and Einstein Next Best Action can all work together. Uh, we're going to basically dispatch a service appointment out there. We're going to go into the field, fill out a bunch of checklists, and then Salesforce is going to give us a bunch of interesting recommendations about what we might do next. So in this case, what you're looking at here on the screen is a field technician. They're using the Salesforce field service mobile application and the Eureka mobile application to go into the field, do some work, fill out some really complicated checklists as you're seeing here on the screen. So let's pretend like we're going through, we're scanning barcodes, we are utilizing optical character recognition, we're taking photos, just collecting a lot of really interesting information doing an inspection of a piece of equipment in the field, for example. So kind of going through, um, doing some checks, filling out all this information, being guided through a process, being guided through a procedure, adding line items, um, estimations, all this kind of stuff. These are really, really common use cases that we see all the time uh, in terms of what field technicians have to do uh, when they're out in the field doing this kind of work. So they're, they're gonna finish their checklist and then essentially what's gonna happen is all that data goes back into Salesforce. Now, what I wanna talk about now is this concept of what we call servitization. So it's your field technicians uh, are able to recognize sales and revenue generating opportunities just based off of how they fill out these checklists. So let's take a look at an example here. We've got that work order that we were just looking at and you can see all the forms and checklists that our technicians fill out, they live right here in Salesforce, right? And so as soon as you click into that, all the data that we collected in the field is available for us here in the system. You can see all that rich information there on the left-hand side is all the stuff that our technician filled out while they were doing the work. It's all here in Salesforce. But if you take a look at the right-hand side, what we have here are some recommendations based off of how they filled out the different answers to the questions in the form. So example, in, the, in this case, we have an example of we have realized an upsell opportunity, and so the the supervisor here is going to actually generate an, a Salesforce Sales Cloud opportunity and notify a sales rep uh, that this opportunity was recognized by a field service technician. So we're sending email alerts, we're notifying folks in chatter, we're sending notifications, creating collaboration between a sales rep and a field service technician. The same thing is true with follow-up work. So maybe we could automatically generate another work order or another service appointment based off of how somebody filled out a form. Like maybe we said that a, the piece of equipment that we were inspecting really needed some extra work, needed some follow-up work. So right here, we're gonna have Salesforce give us an opportunity to immediately schedule a new work order. So you can see here, the system has generated a new work order and it even scheduled a service appointment using all the technology that Salesforce field service and the scheduling and optimization uh, has to offer. It's gonna generate these new work orders and service appointments automatically. So there's a ton of things going on here, but if you take a look, really what's happening is we're filling out a checklist in the field. We're generating a discovery and a next best action. The user can click on that and then create opportunities and work orders and notify folks all in a single user flow. Well, how does it work? So the idea here is that when you build these checklists inside of Eureka, we have this rules engine called discoveries. And what you're seeing on the screen here is basically any of the questions that we ask in these forms and checklists, we can kind of build these criteria, these if then uh, statements, if you will. And if those are satisfied when end users are filling out the forms, we're gonna create these discovery records in Salesforce. They're just native records to the system. And what we can start to do is we can tie those discoveries to Einstein next best action recommendations, which is what you see here on the screen. So anytime you fill out a form and you load it up, it's actually gonna run through the uh, next best action criteria. It's gonna create those next best action recommendations, and then users can simply interact with them. So in this case, it's gonna say, hey, we think you need to create a sales opportunity. And then here you go, you get, you're open up a screen where the end user can simply fill out some basic information. We could uh, write a message to the sales rep that's responsible for working on this account and just say, we identified an upsell opportunity, uh, please follow up. And it'll create an opportunity record and it'll give that to the sales rep and they can start to work it from there. Um, and all this is done through declarative tools like Next Best Action, like Flow, like the form builder inside of, inside of Eureka. So, I guess if I can summarize what you're seeing here is this idea of 
let's take a service appointment. We'll schedule it. We'll dispatch it. We'll send a technician out to do the work. They're going to fill out a bunch of complex checklists while they're on site. And then when the data comes back to Salesforce, we're going to generate some next best actions for them to, to, to act on. And those can generate sales opportunities. And it's, it's all declarative and it's all native to Salesforce. So again, this is just one example. We've, we have many different videos online that show you how Eureka can power uh, certain processes in Salesforce. But this is an example of how you can take Eureka, combine it with Salesforce field service and Einstein next best action to really drive powerful business process all from your field technicians.